Hello friends, I'm Miss Deanna and I'm here at the Bell Road branch of the Newburgh Chandler Public Library. We've moved into the activity room because we're going to be doing some adventures in art and things might get a little messy. So what is art? Well, art is something you can do like uh, singing la, or uh, dancing Ta-da! Or it could be playing a musical instrument. Doo -doo -doo. Or it could be acting. To be or not to be. But art is also something that you can look at. Like it can be a photograph. Or it might be a painting. Or it could even be something three-dimensional, like a sculpture. Well, I was looking in one of the closets at the art in the library today, and I found these how to draw pictures, and they all come from Mo Willems' Pig and Elephant books. And I love Mo Willems' Pig and Elephant books. So I'm going to try and draw some of these pictures, and you can help me. So let's see, first, I'll start with the elephant. <sighs> we have to draw kind of a, a circle thingy and a body thingy. Wait, that's not right. Um, okay, a circle thingy and ear thingies and, and then arms. Oh, wait, maybe if I erase it. Oh, that's making it worse. I'm going to try the pig. Maybe the pig is easier. Okay, take a deep breath. A body and a head and ears. Well, that just looks like a cat. Well, this is very frustrating. I think maybe it's time for me to introduce my friend, Art. This is Art. And these are Art's supplies. Now Art said, it's not my fault, Art declared. My supplies have a mind of their own. The paper started the mess when she invited everyone to the party. The pencils led the way. Coming to this party was a great idea. You sure are smart. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no. The eraser almost start, stopped the party by crossing the line, but decided not to. You rubbed me the wrong way. Next came the crayons. And of course they were thinking outside the box. Let's draw outside the lines. You read my mind. Next came the markers. Well, they were magic. Now, friends, my favorite thing to do with markers is to put a whole bunch of them together. Have you ever done this? And make kind of like a rainbow. The chalk blended in smoothly. The scissors were cutting jokes all night long. I thought things were gonna fall apart. Oh no! But the tape and the glue held everything together. Well, things were starting to calm down when the paint arrived. 
Knock, knock. Who's there? Blue. Blue who? Well, don't cry. It's just a joke. Well, then, of course, the brushes got into the act. And then it was water, paint, water, paint, water, paint. Oh my goodness, I'm so thirsty. Oh no, that's what I was gonna use to clean up. Well, things just kept getting crazier. And as you can see, we've been just too busy to clean up. But we did come up with a pretty nice picture. And we're never too busy to throw another party. Now this story is inspired by a book we have in our library called Art Supplies by Chris Tugas. And what I like about this story is art. I'm sure he will eventually clean up, but he's just having a great time and he's enjoying his crayons and his pencils. He's not worrying about making it perfect. We have another book in our library called Ish by Peter Reynolds. And in Ish, Raymond loves to draw. He loves to draw until his older brother, Leon, makes fun of his drawings because they don't look exactly like what they're supposed to look like. And then so he stops drawing and he gets very angry. He tries to draw one more thing. He crumples it up. He throws it on the floor and his sister Marisol grabs it and runs away with it. And he says, where are you going? And he finds that his sister Marisol has been saving all of his drawings. And he learns that things don't have to look exactly like a vase of flowers. Sometimes they can look vase-ish. Or it doesn't have to look exactly like a rainbow. Sometimes it can look rainbow-ish. Now I did find a song this week by a man named Jan Nigro. And it goes something like this. Put your hands up. With these hands, I can offer so much. With these hands, I can create. With these hands, I can offer my love. I can do something beautiful with these hands. With these hands, a picture I will paint. I can see it there in my mind. It will be one of a kind. And when I'm through, you can see it too. So I hope that you will experiment this week and do some art of your own. One of the things you can do is you can start to create your own art box. Now an art box is not something fancy that you make your parents go out and buy at the store. An art box can be any old box that you find around the house. And there are certain things that go in an art box and certain things that don't go in an art box. So maybe we should look at that together. For instance, I have a marker. Now a marker is a great thing for an art box. And a pencil is a great thing for an art box. Oh, I also have my bologna sandwich for lunch. Do you think a bologna sandwich belongs in an art box? I don't think so, but I will put that aside for lunch later. I also have some flowers. Now these are real flowers, they're not plastic flowers. So they eventually will wilt and die. So although flowers are a lovely thing to draw a picture of, I don't think there's something we wanna keep in our art box all the time because they will eventually get moldy and icky and they might ruin other things in your art box. So nice to have, maybe use them as a paintbrush once, but then you wanna get rid of them. I have buttons. Can you think of something you could make with buttons? I bet you could. And I have some dots. 
and brushes and pencils and glue. Well, all those things go in an art box and an eraser and scissors, tape. Oh, here's some interesting things. I have some bubble wrap. Now this could be fun maybe to just put on my picture for texture, but I bet I could also put some paint on this and I could use it like a stamp pad. And I have some old pieces of yarn that I thought I would throw away, but I might hold on to those for a little bit. And Q-tips, as long as they haven't already been used, those are good for your art box too. Oh, here's some candy. Well, what do you think? I think so too. It's kind of like that bologna sandwich. I don't think we want to put anything in our art box that could get the ants to come into our art box, do we? So we'll put that away. Oh, one last thing. I put a clean brush in my art box, but look what I have right here. I have a dirty brush. Now this one is going to go in. This one is not until after I clean it and make sure it's all the way dry. I certainly don't want to put anything in my art box that's going to ruin any of the other things in my art box. So I'll take care of that later. Along with my paints, which I'm going to let dry out, then close up, and then add those to my art box. Okay. Oh, well this is strange. I guess I must have left some of those things on the table too long because look what they've done. They've made a shadow. Well, do you think we can figure out what these things are? Hmm. I'll put some things out here and we'll see if we can match them to what's on the paper. What do you think this might be? Is it a pencil? No. Is it the tape? No. Is it the glue? Yes, that's the glue. Okay. What about this one? Hmm. It looks like it has eyes. I think that's my scissors. Okay, so that was the scissors and the glue. I have the brush and the pencil and the tape. Well, these two are pretty skinny. So I'm gonna try the pencil here. Well, it sort of fits. And I'm gonna try the pencil here. Which one is better, this one or this one? How many people say this one? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I think you're right, it's this one, which means the brush would go here. And last of all is my tape right there. Well, friends, I have one more thing to show you because we are going to be talking about art for a little bit of time. And we are going to, every time we talk about art, visit our art board. Because all of art starts with these things. We have lines. We have colors. We have shapes. And we have patterns. So next time you come to visit me here at the library, we're going to be talking about lines. So I hope to see you then. And until then, remember, we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands and stomp our feet. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye for now.